Oh, that's better. What were you saying, Dave? Okay, welcome back to Games Rebuilt, where <clears throat> I just messed this up. Where <laughs> I am James and also the Brink, and we are one community. Today, we... Is it in five minutes or soon? It's it's soon, Cast Coder. <laughs> it's soon. I, okay, so I really got to work on my elements, my, my essentially my scenes and sources and stuff like that on OBS. And... The one I used there counts down from 10, but it, you can't change it. I think it's a video, and you can't change it, so it starts at 10. Now, if I started my streams religiously at 10 o'clock, or, you know, 10 minutes before, um, to just count it down, which I should, then it works, else I just cross out soon because I'm lazy, and I haven't figured it out yet. Um, <laughs> Cat Smith for you, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Cast Cutter, once again, welcome, welcome, welcome. Wolf, welcome. Hey, Brink and everyone. It is going to be a fun one. Uh, I still haven't gotten anything uh, put up back there. I haven't gotten all this kind of improved. Um, who knows where I'll be in a, a week or month or whatever when it comes to like my studio setup. But today we are going to be going over April Fool's jokes stuff that was in the gaming sphere and just is if you guys have any um shoot them my way in the discord the games revealed discord which is in the description of this video at least it should be and then also um so yeah if you have anything you want to share there share it in one of the channels if you do let me know which channel in chat um my thing is i i honestly i've usually followed April Fool's stuff more in the past. Um, this past time around, I don't even remember what I was doing this past few days. And even on April Fool's, I usually follow all the funny stuff. And so we get to spend today doing that. I kind of was thinking I was going to do it today anyways for the stream. So um, we're going to be following just a bunch of articles, go through those articles, kind of see what it is. And I've already <laughs> seen one of the funniest ones yet. Um it, was there any Steam? There wasn't anything Steam Deck related, was there? Um, oh, Cass Smith for you. You could hear the Rick roll. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a Twitter. I was going through Twitter to see if I could find some good uh, April Fool's stuff, and one of them was a Rick roll. That's why you heard it. <laughs> uh, nothing too big a deal, which is really annoying. That Cass Smith for you, in the sense of like, the Rick roll, I, I'll i live with it. People will still Rick roll to this day. I'll live with it. I'm not going to get too angry, but I am sick of it, and I tried to avoid it as much as possible. Wolf, I didn't like your April Fool's joke on me. Oh, my gosh, yes. I did pull April Fool's joke on someone. It was Wolf. I surprised I asked because I didn't do it on anyone else. Uh, that She gave me viruses because she gave the wrong URL out for uh, once human. <laughs> And it's okay. I, I I can see how you made the mistake, so it's not like it's a big deal, <laughs> but it's still funny. Um, I think if I got a virus from somewhere like that, I don't think I would say that I got a virus. Okay, I'd be. I'm not. <laughs> I would not be promoting that I got tricked. Or maybe I should. I don't know. It would be good content. Um. So how's everyone doing today? You guys doing good? I'm sure more people will trickle on in. Uh, let's just get into some of this April Fool-ishness. Um, 
first up, we're going to do games. Bot. The one I'm most interested in is K Kotaku because they tend to be very like abrasive to humor sometimes. So that will be a funny one <laughs> to see what they find is funny. And a lot of these will probably be very similar. Um, let's see. Uh, features on the best April Fool. Ooh, we could also see that too at the end. That might be a good one. Uh, this one. <laughs> It's got to be – this one makes me think of um, the, the the Cthulhu dating sim, right? The one I played a while ago. Um, that's what this Pal World one does. Pal World's more than just pals, which I hope not. They're animals. Uh, let's go. I don't need to say what this is going to turn out to be, but I still find it hilarious that uh, Power World is getting a. So, you, yeah, you fought pals in Power World, enslaved them, and forced them to work on your assembly lines. But do you ever think of dating them? Power World's April Fool's Day joke is a dating sim utilizing several of its creatures and characters, a fantasy where you can tour a high school straight out of an anime series and romance both humans and pals, which is. <laughs> which is terrifying. Let's just say that. Uh, look. <laughs> Um, th there you go. Cat Smith for you. I'm loving my dual sense edge controller that I got recently. Recently, I don't own a PS5. The dual sense, uh, so you got the PS5 dual sense edge controller, right? Um, any honestly, a lot of the PS5 controllers are bangers, like they're awesome. I love them, uh, a lot. So you can't go wrong. I, I, I I've traditionally liked Xbox controllers more because they just feel a little better in the hands, but the PS5 controller just all around has felt really good these days now. Um, yes, cast coder, pals with benefits, only pals. Okay, we're, we're, <laughs> it sounds like we are streamlining some uh, names right now. But yeah, no, honestly... If this wasn't so abhorrent, it almost feels like it would be one of their uh, <laughs> one of their expansions. But yeah, it would be maybe a little bit of the lines of bestiality or something. So uh, yeah, um, some of these other ones we'll see if we care. Dave the Diver is also venturing into the romantic waters. Not to be outdone, Dave the Diver is also charting a, a known romantic waters with a dating simulator based on Duff's dream girl called Doki Doki Lee. Oh my gosh. Leah has VR. This one's will be coming soon to Virtual Quest and play play vacation. All right, that's how you just do it, which are totally real platforms. Another one that's yeah, like they said, Dave Diver, which you haven't played that is um it's an I don't know if it's eight bit. It's like what, sixteen eight bit eight bit to sixteen bit or something like that. Uh kind of style uh game where you dive into the ocean and have to get things and Honestly, I haven't gotten that far into that game. I really did like it. I just haven't came, come back around to, to play it. Uh, Wolf, reminds me of the Smash or Pass video of Pals I sent in disc. Yeah, right? Okay. So people like Markiplier did do the Smash or Pass or something like that uh, with Pokemon. I don't think I can do that type of content. It feels so dirty in the sense of like... Uh, they're animals and I, I and I really like legitimately that's like yeah pretty messed up so this is the floppy of uh floppy future of cyberpunk 2077 this if they could make it work would be amazing but yeah one of 97 oh one of 97,619 data disc so if you don't know this is actually I I really like because it's obviously April Fools. It it's not like anyone that's really tricked by this is just asking for, or they're going to be easily deceived anyways. They probably shouldn't be on the internet. This is one I really like. It brings me back to the good old days. If you've ever played the good old days uh, floppy disks games, where the disks would only hold so much, and I've had disks that like oh, how many data disks? Not like crazy, but like I think some of the most I've had were like between three and six of data disks that I have to swap in and out of to install, and then you usually have a play disk, right? And so, so um, 
yeah, it's. <laughs> I don't miss those days, but it's very like if they released a limited edition one of these floppies, I'd totally buy the floppy. Because to be fair, that's also a sick looking design. Some stickers on it, and if I actually got a floppy disk, or whatever, and it has like a little mini game on it, I, I I'm down for that type of collectible stuff. They should do that. Now that we're talking about this, uh, <laughs> CD Projekt Red, you guys should make a floppy collectible that has a mini game for Cyberpunk in it. I would be a hundred percent all in on that. Um, it just would suck because I'd have to go find a floppy drive that would be compatible. Um, requires FOD. I don't remember it ever saying FOD. It's just usually it was like floppy disk drive. Interesting. Interesting. Worried about the future and want to preserve one of my of your favorite games on physical storage medium? Good news. Cyberpunk 2077 is getting a re re-release this time on 97,619 3.5 inch floppies it might take a few months to copy all that data over but at least you'll have a handsome collection of old school discats with which to build a yellow four or something by the time you're done shipping is probably going to cost quite a bit to justify sending you a shipping container of retro storage to i'm kind of curious how much that would actually sorry i'm taking a sip i'm, I'm curious how much that actually would cost a ship it'd probably be a good couple hundred dollars right um casma 3 the dual sense edge controller works really well with the steam deck especially the fact that you can bind anything to the function buttons and the back buttons on the dual sense edge yeah no 100 percent. like it's i could just imagine the edge the dual sense edge controller doing really well with the uh with the steam deck Cascoder, that's a lot of physical save icons. <laughs> that's right. You, we've had this joke before. You would, <laughs> you don't recognize save icons as anything, or floppy disks as anything except for a save icon. Uh, you youngin, wolf. I'll send you one. Do you, you're gonna send me a floppy disk, or you're gonna send me uh, a Smash or Pass Pal <laughs> video? Cool, sir. Floppies are are especially cheap. They could uh, include it with the purchase. I could, I, okay, well, things are going more digital. I doubt they'd include something like this. It's just because it wouldn't make sense to, like, not everyone wants this piece of plastic hanging out in their house. But, like, if they charge $10 for something like this right here, they got a bunch of collectibles, collectibles made, and they charge $10, 20 I Honestly, I'd, pay th I'd probably pay up to $30 for something like that as, if it had a game on it and maybe came with a floppy drive or some way to, you know, put it into the, the uh, plug it in I'd totally be down for that I'd totally buy that um by the way welcome uh Quiltzer and welcome Necrosphere sup um uh Cascoder's <laughs> Cast Smith for you sold Cascoder on an on an edge now so you're going to be getting a dual sense edge not a not a bad idea, by the way, Cascutter. It looks pretty good. In fact, let's since we're talking about it, let's look at this dual sense edge. Here we go. So we're we're gonna be looking at the edge real quick. We're taking a little detour like I normally do, and at that price, I just don't know. Oh my god, I forgot how expensive the edge is. Um, yeah, it has the custom. Oh, what, wait, what is on the back again? It's been a while since I've seen this. I don't do much with. I mean, it looks nice. Wait. Okay, good. It's USB C. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, I just haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. Totally down for this. I probably wouldn't... I, I probably won't get a DualSense Edge. I think my next controller is going to be uh, Backbone for my uh, phone. Because I want to start um, trying out some portable gaming on my phone from both my PC and also some of the services. So, But uh, I think if I played my pl uh, PlayStation or the Steam Deck undocked enough i'd get something like this it's just i play my my steam deck in bed it'd be a weird setup for me to have an external controller on it that being said 
uh, once I get an iPad one of these days, maybe something like that would be nice for it. Um, uh, Wolf, no, I'm sending you an April Fool's thing. Okay, cool. Do that, Wolf. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, let's see here. Blah, blah, blah. Exposed everyone to stuff. Oh, thanks, Wolf, for also announcing everything. That was nice. We'll go to that uh, towards the end since it's all queued up. Unless you want me to look at it now, Wolf. Do you want me? Yeah, I'll, I'll queue it up after this. Okay. Uh, Pokemon Sleep Champion Tournament. <laughs> Pokemon Sleep World uh, World Championship Tournament looks like a snooze fest. Top marks to the Pokemon Company this year for going all in on its joke, as seen in the video for a cozy competition of Pokemon Sleep. What if sports snoozing was a real thing, and you could watch comp? Com Competitors battle it out to be the first to grab 40 wings. You'd get this riveting relaxation. It, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, it's it's a, it's a fun one, but it definitely is a little bit on the lazier side compared to these other ones. Like, this is a good one. As far as being, like, super, like kind of cheesy, obviously, it's, it's still fun because it uh, nothing speaks retro like diskettes, uh, especially since Cyberpunk's, like, almost its era came from 70s and 80s. Uh, and so, which I don't know actually if the 3.5 was in the eighties or nineties, it was like between that. Cause they also had the five inch floppy disks. These are hard diskettes. So a little different, um, uh, now accepting new clients, skincare at the yacht club games.com. Is that who makes shovel night shovel night shovel certified dermatologist dirt metologist. Nah, is D by Yacht, 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 uh, right for you, email. <laughs> Shovel Knight dev developers are branching out into organic skincare products. Shovel Knight developers club games wants you to finally go outside and touch some grass, or better yet, the dirt beneath the grass. As the studio is launching its own line of skincare products with expertise from esteemed dermatologists, Shovel Knight, this is... A uh, not great way to take care of your skin. Mm, actually, a, a, a mud, uh, some mud on the face, mud on the skin, really rejuvenating, good for you. Unless it's like radion, radon, radiation infused dirt, then maybe it's bad for you. Um, well, if that's expensive, yes, it is, but it is a nice controller. Uh, next sphere. This is hilarious. These, uh, Gen Z peeps don't even know what a floppy disk is. Yes. Uh, well, no. Okay. Cast Coder knows what a floppy disk is. He just li likes to be, uh, to play, f to make fun. <laughs> uh, but yes, next sphere. A lot of people aren't going to know what it is. Uh, well, they're going to kind of know, especially if you're on the internet a lot, you will know what it is. Um, but it is hilarious. Uh, that cat smith for you. Oh, let's see. No, cascoder, those adjust the trigger's distance to when it hits 100% held down. That makes sense with the dual sense. Um, like I said, I looked into it a while ago and it looked exciting. I just haven't looked into it again, but I it definitely looks like a nice controller. Uh, I just don't know if I would use it. To its full potential, but I really do like the original Dual Sense. Um, yeah, that Casamuth for you knows what a floppy disk is. Yeah, no, I, I, I think most people kind of do, but like until you've had to use it to install stuff, it's like it's uh, almost surreal. It's almost like, yeah, I'm not gonna gatekeep that. Okay, uh, Necrosphere bring function buttons and hair trigger functionality. You're the exception, Casamuth. <laughs> Yes. Uh, cast Cutter, it sucks the final Pokemon Sleep match was DMCA'd. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that that would be a pretty good joke, actually. Like, they post this out, and then it's like, too bad I got DMCA'd for just watching the last one. Yeah. No, that's funny. Um, cool, sir. Did you see the compact disc is making a comeback with one petabyte? 
capacity maybe floppies will be the next um i they're probably going to be chips i don't think floppies will ever come back in what they were i think the the whatever it is is going to be a little bit smaller and i think they have uh what's like th they have special um glass that is uh 3d dimensionally able to store data i know that is one of the techs that they're working on there's a lot of different tech going into all this but i know that like glass long um pieces of glass we're able to hold lots of data. So it'll be interesting to see where we go. Um, it could be another floppy disk. I, it, it could circle back, who knows? I'm not against it. But I have to say, like the portability of being able to stick it in my pocket and not, and setting down and not breaking it like a thumb drive, you can't quite beat that. Um, that guy Smith review, I was actually able to transfer the controller sch uh, schema I set for Minecraft to my DualSense Edge controller with minor adjustments to, tr to the trackpad and set, and, and it worked really nice. Oh, really? That's good to know, Catsmith. Okay, Phantom Blue, uh, Phantom Blue uh, Grant to see rises. Versing is certainly something. I, because I don't know Grand Blue Fantasy very well. I don't understand this one. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Naraka Blade Point throws hands. Damn, Naraka. This is a fake update for the game and gives you a deadly arsenal of hands to wield in combat as you will be able to unleash finger guns, <laughs> high fives, morale boosting uh, uh, applause to thrive in a live service game. Handy stuff, one would say. Honestly, I'd be down for that. Dude, they should, there, there could be some really fun stuff done on that type of thing added to a game. <laughs> Dead by Daylight introduces My Little Oni mode. This is my problem with some of these with April Fool's jokes is that sometimes they get to it like this one. I feel like, yeah, what they're saying right there is silly, but what they're showing, like, I don't know if it could necessarily be a Dead by Daylight uh, baddie, but it looks like it could. <laughs> Honestly, let's be honest here. But My Little Oni uh, mode is hilarious because, you know, it's massive. Just introduce a gigantic sized killer to deal with. It also shrinks you down and makes the game comically unfair. This event will end. Oh. Oh. F f <laughs> okay. Shit. Uh, this is actually going to be a thing. Okay. Well, okay. I, I resend mine. I'm talking about stuff like this where they don't actually do it. It sounds like this is an actual event until April 3rd, which is today, which I probably already missed it. That's sick. I actually wouldn't be against necessarily trying something like that as long as it works out okay. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. See, that's how you do it. That's how you do an April Fool's joke. Um, Necrosphere OG Origin Trail on floppy disk was the awesome back in the day. Yeah, agreed. A cool sir, stop wearing those skin tight pants. Mm, no. Wait. In what way? Who's wearing skin tight pants? It's cool, sir. What's wrong with that? Um, the virtual boy is making a comeback. Fifteen years ago, IGN made one of the best. <laughs> okay, this, this is GameSpot. I thought it was. I thought we were on IGN at first. I was like, they're boasting about their own. Uh, the vir <laughs> Fifteen years ago, IGN made one of the best April Fool's Day jokes with a high budget teaser for a live action The Legend of Zelda movie. Now the outlet has revived Nintendo's infamous Virtual Boy console for the modern age, and even though it's a joke, we kind of really want this to be real. Witness the fusion of a Switch, your face, augmented reality, and real life Tom Nook demanding a rent from uh, rent payment in this fun video. Ooh. What's up, Rachie? How you doing, man? How many times do I have to tell you? I like this. 
<gasps> I get it. Honestly? Okay, okay. So everyone kind of is shitting on the Apple's uh, virtual reality, right? Or their AR, their um, augmented reality system. I think it's cool. I think it's gonna, you're going to need to give it a, like a generation or two or at least a couple of years for it to really um, mature into its, what it would be useful for. I'm not going to lie. If you can make the chores like vacuuming like this, like just little ghost ghosties on the floor, um, if you can make this better for my chores, like I'm just backing up little ghosties, like the AR, like the AR kit, like honestly, the Switch is not powerful enough to do all this, to do AR. But the Switch 2, this is good marketing. This type of good marketing is really like, and I, who came out with this? Was it IGN or was it Nintendo? I, I don't know. I know this is on IGN. Okay, this is an IGN 2024 April Fools, I think is what it is. If this was from Nintendo, this is how you do like good market research is you just release a, an April Fools joke and just like, what are people saying about it? Do you think they'd want this? Because honestly, I would want this. Uh, I would be totally down for something like this. Uh, make my chores a little better. Have that. Uh, everyone knows me. I like Luigi's Mansion, if you've watched my content enough. And... I'm all about them ghosties. If I could, if I could just have those little pebbles of dirt turn into little ghosties and I vacuum them up, I'd be the most consistent vacuumer on this side of the Mississippi, whatever that means. <laughs> oh gosh, yours. <laughs> so they couldn't do that with the, the current Nintendo. I just think that a current Switch is just way too underpowered. But with a pretty beefed up Nintendo Switch 2 with NVIDIA being in charge of it because they have so much AR or they have so much AI capable chips now and having an AI capable chip in there, man, you could do some cool stuff like this. Um, I'd be down for that. I like that a lot. I actually, I really like this one. The more I watched it, at first I was like, "Okay, that's pretty good," but like that was pretty good. Um, okay, we can see some of the video for this. Okay, we'll watch. I'm missing out. I'm not watching some of these things. Um, quote, sir. So you don't break your thumb drive? Well, I mean, I put my thumb drive in the front pocket. Even if I've I've had tight pants before, like I never broke anything. Uh, I love my skin tight pants, Necrosphere. <laughs> uh, dude, live on, enjoy those pants. Um, Raichi, once again, what's up? Uh, Necrosphere, I thought this was real for the virtual boy switching thing. Yeah, right? I mean, it's pretty It's pretty close to being real. And when you watch it. Is there a Pal World visual novel or is it... or? It was an April Fool's joke. Rachie, this is it right here, and it is an April Fool's joke. So I'm sorry to say. I'll rewind it back to that. Actually, we'll do that real quick, just so that you can see. It was the Pal World More Than Just Pals pr pr promo for virtual dating of your pals, which is, you know, not appropriate. I'll say that, Rachie. Not appropriate. Are we going to have to get a little hammer out? Um... I don't even know if we have a horny hammer in uh, chat. I might need to get one so you guys can use it. Okay, uh, April Fool's joke. <laughs> yep, April foul. Yes, it was. It, it ran a foul. Um, Rachy, 720p. Yeah, 30, three, uh, so 360p per eye. Yeah, yeah it would be awesome. <laughs> no, there isn't any law for pals. Yeah, but... That's makes, I mean, morality wise says don't F animals. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. That's my morality, I guess. Um, okay, let's uh, let's see what this Oni looks like. Because they shrink you down. Oh, yeah, you're really small. Okay, I'm sorry. There's no... Uh, 
The, my problem with Dead by Daylight is that I actually like to play it with certain people every once in a while. It's it's kind of fun if you know what you're doing. But like, I'm sorry. Why would you limit this? This actually looks fun. I should try this. I'm actually kind of upset because I don't think I'm going to get to try it. I have too much stuff to get done before. Um, and I wish I could try this. I'm upset. I'm angry. I'm disappointed in myself. But it, it, this sh they should bring this back. This should be like a, a mode or something that you can play. That's fun. I like that. Um... Because for too much junk in the trunk, break. oh my gosh, for tight pants or for your your thumb drive. Um, let's see, Sonic the Hedgehog has a new ambassador. You might consider yourself to be a Sonic super fan, but even your love for the franchise pals in comparison to the passion of Sonic Man, first introduced in 2006 as Sonic the Hedgehog, this fellow is now Se uh, Sega's new torchbearer for all things Sonic. If you're interested in how Sonic Man has re remained a Sega lifelong fan even after he starred in the worst Sonic game. You can read more here in this interview with him. Oh my gosh. What? Well, I mean, to start off, in the game he looks drastically better than he does in real life. And that's cruel and unusual. But there you go. Or at least in the game screenshot. <laughs> Power Wash Simulator goes too far. For years, Power Wash Simulator fans have been turning the world into a bright and sparkling clean place to enjoy. Well, no more, says developer Future Lab, as the next update for the game will allow you to become a filthy menace spraying mud and sludge all over the pristine locations. Players worked so hard to clean. Oh, yes, it's grime time. It's grime time. I mean, to be fair, that wouldn't be... A bad mode <laughs> like I'll be honest like having it be a, a mode wouldn't be that big a deal like, it'd be kind of fun just to add it I would be surprised if they I mean if they you've watched it all yeah if they have something that's already in the game like they're demoing it they probably actually did it it probably was just easy to reverse uh, it yeah so what they did is they started the whole level out clean and then anytime you wash an area what where it would have been dirty they actually apply the dirt or they just rewinded the video honestly it looks like they just rewound the video <sighs> it wouldn't be a hard mode to, to make i don't know if people would even want it but there you go that's my two cents on something that probably does not matter uh last year they uh they gifted a sonic game on april fools Ooh, on april fowl's day uh, I don't need a new world order. Guilty, gu guilty gear strive. Smell of the game perfume. Smell of the game. What is it going to smell? Okay, guys. What would a game smell like? Guilty gear per perfume in development will arrive in 2174. Awesome. <laughs> what does gu gear, uh, guilty gear smell like? That's a question you can answer with guilty gear perfume a new fragrance inspired by the popular fighting game series it's still going to be a while before the perfume hits the shelves and your olfactory senses 150 according to arc systems work but hey at least your heart and your nostrils will be blazing when it happens or arrives which it will never. Elden Ring expansion. Behold, this Elden Ring expansion. Bandy Nomcom held up its end of the bargain with this tweet. <laughs> what? Uh, tarnished look upon the Elden Ring expansion. Oh my gosh. It's just expanding. <laughs> Elden Ring expansion. There you go. I mean, that is that is troll level. That is troll level, guys. That's hilarious. It's lazy, but they got the point across. Like, they just smacked their fans in the face. Uh, Cast Cutter, please don't be, based, uh, don't be based on a Smash Bros. tournament. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the smell... <laughs> So if you guys watch Papa Me, 
which I actually quite like a lot of his content. He hasn't been doing as many cartoons as lately on his main channel, but he's been doing a lot of stuff on Papa Me, and he did a smell test, and like, because he's been to a lot of conventions, he's done a lot of stuff. He's like, who smells the worst? Yeah, and Smash Bros. people were in that list. It was hilarious. Among Us goes too far yet again. Inner Sloth has made it an April Fool's Day tradition to bring cursed images to your desktop. And this new creation from the Among Us developer doesn't disappoint. If you thought Among Us horses were an abomination, you haven't seen anything yet because it's about to be a long week in the game. Oh, no. Well, well whatever. Let's see what this is. For one week only. So this is real. Oh, they're like really tall. Okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? You got to make it kind of fun and, and uh, make it fresh to play a game that you keep playing over again that just gets stale over the years. I like that. I like that. I like that they brought it as a mode too. Once again, I'm all for like adding fun little things to the game, even sidelining them a little bit, but don't get rid of them at least for a while. Like, yeah. Uh, Worms versus Among Us. Dude, a worm among us, a, a, a worms among us version would be fun. Like where you get to play as little among us characters in the place of worms. That'd be fun. Or vice versa, worms inside among us. It's not that lame, cast cutter. For honor pulls a switcheroo. We're fairly certain Viking Raiders didn't swing dainty, dainty parasols around when going into combat if you're planning to play some for honor this week get ready for a shock when you see if your favorite warrior is welding historically inaccurate weapons on the battlefield what are they doing oh my gosh that's that facial animation oh Oh, nice. That guy, they did memes, at least some memes. That's hilarious. Kickflip. Nice. You know what? That's fun. I like it. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Uh, I said the Elden Ring thing was lame. Yeah, no, I know, Cascoder. I thought it was the minimal effort because they wanted to like, just say you guys about expansion, and they, they gave you an update. <laughs> Ray G, Viking feels so last gen. The generation is all about samurai and ninjas. All of them, they cycle in and out on popularity, and I'm always down for some samurai. But Vikings are good, too. I wouldn't mind a good Viking game. There's plenty, and I have not played them yet. Cast Cutter, wait, they still make For Honor content? I think they do, but, like, yeah. I mean, they're paying the team to do something, and they're doing something. They're making stuff like this, which is, to be fair, fun, but from my understanding, For Honor game it needs to be uh, improved. A feast in a bottle. Flesh. A feast in a bottle. Finally, zombie energy drinks. Hey, I'm down for this. This is already sounding like my sh my my stuff right here for the more mortally challenged among us. Zombie Army VR's brand of energy drink is just what you need. Flesh is described as a feast in a bottle crammed full of six 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 vital nutrients needed to help your zombie shamble through a day, so that they can sink their teeth into someone's ankle. Be cool. Drink flesh. I mean, it's cheesy, but I love it. I, you know me though. I'm down for everything zombie oriented. Let's see here. Rated M. Oh no, they have like a full on you commercial. You constantly feel like death, like you're falling apart from the seams. Especially this last few ones. To gnaw through your favorite cadaver. What you need is flesh. 
A feast in a bottle. Flash is a meal replacement drink for the mortally challenged who needs sustenance on the go. Or 666 nutrients of the human body packed densely into one flask. No more blood stains on your Sunday best. No more complaints from your undead chums moaning that you chew too loud. Flash has everything an undead needs to keep on thriving beyond oh. the mortal coil. It even has its uses it's for it's the six living. Calories. My undead neighbor would be groaning all hours of the night and constantly be scratching at my door, but thanks to Flesh, I can finally play my favorite video game. Is this Call of Duty? Whether it's the succulent taste of the living or just it's the peace Call of Duty quiet, Zombies mod. Flesh is Herb you covered. Be cool, drink Flesh. I mean, they chose a good spokesman. How do they drink this stuff? <laughs> oh, zombie army. Okay. Zombie army VR. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, welcome. Welcome. Chad cat. Maybe baby. Uh, how you doing? Rachie, I need to play the for honor campaign. They have a campaign. I thought it was multiplayer only. <laughs> Uh, Nar yes, the Naruto run was pretty good, Wolf. I, 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 it was a good video. I'll be honest. It was a pretty good video. Uh, <laughs> Jinx, owe me a soda. Okay, let's see. Chad, what the hell did I walk into? You walked into flesh. Um, beyond that, I don't know what else you walked into. Uh, Cascader, no thanks. I'll stick to True Blood. There you go. You'll stick... No, you're going to stick to the uh, sparkly vampire blood uh, drinks where it's all sparkly. Uh, Chad, man, life has been hectic. Oh, I bet. I have not he heard from you guys in a while. How are you doing, Chad? You guys doing good? Casmith, for you, me here still. Welcome back. Or I'm glad you're still here, Casmith. I want a qu uh, Meta Quest 3 so badly. Same Necrosphere. I want one bad, too. I want one really bad. But not so bad that I'm not. I'm gonna do other things this year. I need to before that. But it's on my list for the end of the year. Uh, Neck mentioned the run first. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cascoder. I don't like carbonated drinks though. I don't think blood is carbonated. I guess you could. Yeah. Are you even human? I agree with that. <sighs> DLC. How about CLC? You've got that right. Cartridge loaded content. No. Is it cartridge stacking? Experience Sonic the Hedgehog in a whole new way with a whole lot more. I love how grainy this is. Um, it almost looks better than a filter. A whole lot more features. Big head mode. Got it. Sonic the Hedge. Yes, ma'am. And if you're lucky, you might even get to see Sonic's big old trotters in all their shoeless glory with all new barefoot Sonic mode. I do don't no, don't freaking know about that. Uh, only fan Sonic Edition Sega Genesis cartridge add-on. Uh, just don't make it weirder than it already is. I just made it weirder. I apologize. So get ready to stack cartridge after cartridge of glorious CLC and enhance your Sonic the Hedgehog experience like never before. <laughs> I'm not even gonna read this. I like it. It's pretty funny. And I like that they were able to really get, like, it feels like this was um, scanned in from a uh, old school magazine. Like, this was an old school picture magazine article. I love that. Oh, yeah, the, the razor thing. I like it. I like it. I'm not going to say I, it's stupid. I like it. Um, Chad... The baby was sick for a while with strep, and then Cat got it, but I've been fine, thank God. Yeah, thank goodness, Chad. Uh, yeah, strep has been going around, guys. Uh, don't go kissing anyone random or uh, swapping saliva with people. Uh, strep is, has been going around, and, it's, and um, you have to be careful with kids with strep, too, because they could get scarlet fever, I believe, from that. So, And that gets nasty. So always good to check in with the doctor if you can. Um, and it's been a pretty nasty, nasty season. Um, yeah. Cascoder, Signals are fans. Yes, they do. 
Necrosphere, it looks straight from Nintendo's Power Magazine, bro. Epic. Yeah, it does. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's Nintendo It's Nintendo Power Magazine. That's, that's what it looks like it's from, yep. Yeah. Love that. Um, hey, I can stack multiple decks of cards to upgrade the fun. There you go. You can stack the deck. Uh, hope everyone gets better soon, Chad. Yes, agreed. I agree with Necrosphere and Wolf. Okay, the Razor Cthulhu will make Doc Octopus... It's what's his face jealous um octavius uh never worry about having to rely on weak arms ever again they have a yeah they have a i did see this where's their where's their video here's their video their video is fairly cheesy i will say that interruptions are annoying i like that they did it though i think i like that they go the extra step annoying uh, yeah introducing the razor cthulhu the ultimate gaming chair with eight AI tentacles that cater to your every need. Now you can keep up personal hygiene, enjoy your favorite food and drinks, and even shave all without leaving your game. Experience ultimate <laughs> comfort and ultimate support. You'll never want to leave your chair. Dude, I'd love something like that. In fact, you will never leave this chair again. Nice. That's funny. Does Razor actually have a chair? Oh, they do. I mean, I don't think the wheels look that cheap, do they? They, they look like my wheels. My wheels haven't fallen apart yet. Other things have, like my chair's side. I've had to put on the, <laughs> the armrest like three times. Um... But I've had my chair for like five years. It is literally, if you could see other parts of it besides up here, up here it's like staying well. Everything else is like, yeah. I need to get a new chair one of these days. I'm just too lazy to get one. Because it, it, I like it. it. It fits me. It feels good. I like it. I don't want to get a chair that doesn't feel good. Um, <laughs> Rachie. I mean, okay, several Razor uh, QA jobs opened up the other day. I wonder why. Do you think it's because of the wheels? Like, am I missing something here? I mean, they don't look that bad. Depends on how dense those discs are. I don't know. But yeah, if it's going to handle, like, I guess, any gamer, then you're probably right. Okay. Let's go on to Wolf's Close. Uh, going postal, the legacy foretold on VHS going postal, uh, forget about streaming and Blu-rays. We're thrilled to announce our blockbuster film. We'll be releasing exclusively on VHS. That's right. Dust off your old VACRs and get ready to rewind to the nineties. Ooh, I like that. That's a good, that's, that's actually a pretty good promo thing. That's not probably real because we're bringing back the nostalgia in style. Honestly, I'd be all for that if they did something like this. Um, going postal legacy foretold. I'm. I mean, they I think they went and took like this is. So you can see this. This is not a movie. How much is in here? It would be something along the lines of like an episode or like a promo VHR v, VHS. If it was a movie, it'd be maybe halfway. Maybe even more. Uh, my parents still have a VCR, so totally. That's the postal. Do oh, that's the documentary. <gasps> oh, sick. Creating such a Welcome back, everybody. Another school shooting, and people are asking, how could this happen? Do we live in a culture that promotes and even glorifies violence in video games and in the movies? Going postal has taken root as a slang phrase for going more than just a bit berserk. Tonight, it's at the heart of a controversial new video game where carnage is the key to winning. There's a new game in town that has U.S. mail carriers, their bosses, friends, and families, shall we say, a little ticked off. Violent video and computer games are taking a new disturbing turn. Instead of warriors... Man, it was such an, a different time back then. 
you don't see this stuff anymore. Battling lawyers. Because it's already proven that uh, violent video games doesn't cause all the issues that we're having today. It's unfettered access to <laughs> and mental health. The victims are innocent bystanders. The game Postal is creating such a backlash that it's making headlines in newspapers all around the country. Like the Wall Street Journal. You can't feel like what you've been here for Wow, they really go. Where you basically can just go off nonstop and shoot, shoot, shoot. The postal crew. I wish I could have gotten a video, like a uh, full length video. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. I don't think it did well beyond the first one, right? Okay, so... Rachie, when I was a kid, I didn't understand why there weren't any pictures in the in the VHS tapes. In the... In, oh, like, when you took the, like, thing out, you couldn't see any pictures? That's funny. Uh, will my Xbox One VCR be able to play it? Dude, that sounds like a really fun mod job. Okay. You're really making it so that I want to do an Xbox because Xbox One at one point had inputs and outputs. Um, or was it the Xbox 360? I think it's the Xbox One. That's why it's called the One. It was supposed to be the one device that was supposed to also. It was really not a bad idea. The problem is, is then we had everything go digital around that time, so it started becoming war like not really worth it. Um, but that could be a fun mod that you might be able to get away with a VHS Xbox. That'd be fun. I like that. Uh, Wolf, I would buy the VHS too. If you want to keep an eye, if, dude, Wolf, it sounds like you're already kind of keeping an eye on this. If you want to keep an eye on this, let us know. Let's get let's get VHS. We can be VHS um, bros together. Uh, Deckersphere, I have been playing Postal Brain Damaged on my deck, and it's like boom or shooter. So much fun so far. Ooh, I like that. That's all. Well, Boomer Shooter is a new style, you know, old. It's, it's essentially new games that are come out as old school style. I'm I'm for it to a point. Like I'm not. Gonna, I'll be honest. I only have so much time, and there's certain games out I'd much rather play, even though I do like stuff like this. Did this come out like? He, wait, this is no. I wait. What? Oh, it got. Interesting. It's like Duke Nukem. All right. Yeah, verified on the deck too. You know what? This looks fun. I'm down for this. I'd totally play this on the deck. I'm wow. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks, Nick. I, I'm gonna keep an eye out for that. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, Rachie, the PS5 and series consoles are worse than the PS3 and PS3. The PS3 was a multimedia monster. Yeah, no, the the Xbox One though has inputs, so you could have your cable box go in and and do like management and do recordings and stuff like that. They were really trying to do like an all-in-one device. Um, how was the PS3 a multimedia monster? I don't remember why that would be the case. Uh, Necrosphere, check out the Boomer Shooter bundle on Humble Bundle right now. And the hack and slash and everything. That, ooh. Humble. I've been trying. Honestly, I need to do it for the... For the um, channel but I've been staying away from deals because I keep on spending all my money on stuff like this not all my money but I, I am tempted to buy buy it and I don't end up playing half the games games I don't think it's here anymore is it no I'm not seeing it um, ulti unless I'm mistaken, I don't. S oh, there it is. Never mind. It was back with a vengeance. The best of boomer shooters. Oh, okay. There you go. 
Ultra Kill. I mean, Quake 2 is good, but that's not a boomer shooter. I mean, it is a boomer shooter, but it's not like... I, I kind of classify them as new games coming out that are like the old. Ah, yeah, I'm probably going to get this. Thanks for the call out there, Nick. A boomer shooter, uh, Vampire Survivors. The PS3 had a great UI for your music, movies, and pictures. I see where you're going with that. I think it had a decent UI. I would not put it at... I don't know. That's a hard one. That's a hard one. When we talk, start talking about UI, I'd have to go back and revisit it. Because uh, my lens on UI, because I do a lot of UI UX um, development at work. And so, or at least I, I, you know, throughout the years I've had to build UIs out and everything. So back then, my perception might be different than what it is now. Rachie, the new consoles removed the optical cable. I think the, I'll be, okay, another really like, probably a little bit of a a take that's wrong i don't think the optical cable even though i my razor speakers right here are hooked up by an optical cable i don't think they're it's necessary these days i want everything to be wireless honestly I, i'd much prefer my all uh, everything right here to be wireless i know that's not gonna it's gonna take a little bit for that but that's what i prefer Ooh, quick two is online too nice PS3 was crazy good at media, multimedia. You could copy CDs, play DVDs, and Blu-ray. That's right. The original models had um, SD and S and CF and Memory Stick Pro Duo and could stream. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Casco Odor. Okay. I I apologize. PS3 also supports seamlessly streaming from your PC, Windows PC over the same network. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff, but it didn't. I will have to say, I don't feel like it did any of that stuff amazing. Like, it did it pretty good, but some of it didn't do amazing. Like, I remember being frustrated all the time. So, um, let's see here. Hack and Slash and Everything Nice bundle is the men and women of culture. What? Oh, no. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, that is, so th are these games playable on the I like that this is deck ver oh wow they really went all out on like say, do they all say no just that one interesting <laughs> slice and dice this is just sli sli interesting okay there you go more stuff to get uh, Cascoder, I will say the uh, Xbox, the XEMB fails when there are too many things in the category, though. It needed a gallery style view, constantly vertical scrolling was bad. Yeah, I could see that. The Humble Monthly is good. Yeah, no, Cascoder, or uh, uh, Rachi, I agree with that. PS3 interface was called XMB. Oh, right. Cross media bar. Yeah. No, I recognize the, um, the interface name, but it's been a long time since I've had to deal with stuff like that. I've modded multiple different types of uh, systems, too. Like, it's just, I forget things after, over a while. Okay, let's see here. Uh, PC Gamer, do you have anything new for us? Got the, the Elder Scroll, or yeah, the Elder Rings, that is. New Blood Interactive. <laughs> That's like even more old school. <laughs> Dusk. Got the kill. Oh, wow. They only need to have those, huh? Oh, oh, the best and the cringiest pranks. One, don't do an April Fool's joke. Put the time and energy into doing it. Oh, you guys. Let's just have some fun. 
April Fool's 2024, Tinder's VP of ghosting. No, no, Tinder isn't hiring someone to track down matches who suddenly stops responding. That's a good thing for the ghosters, breadcrumbers, zombies, submariners, and slow faders among us because avoiding uncomfortable un conversations is probably what they're going for. VP of ghosting. So they're just, just set there ghosting. <laughs> Stupid. It's not even game related. I'm assuming Verge is going to have both. Feature grandma. Waymo one. Grandma mode. Engage. Sweetie, make sure you buckle up. Safety first. You look hungry. You should have something to eat. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you know, you know. I don't know if any who any of you guys had a grandma that had this these strawberry hard candies. I like them. Very nostalgic. In fact, now I want to go buy some. Oh, look at that lovely garden. Those hydrangeas are fabulous. Would you like some chocolate milk? Don't you worry a bit, sweetie. Very... You just rest those peepers. Thick chocolate well, milk. Well, I've been behind the wheel since you were just a little tight. Millions of miles, I tell you. Darling, double check you have everything. And have a wonderful day. You know what? That's a very sweet commercial. I like that. Um, Sony used it for the Blu-rays too, the XMB. Okay. Yes, I've been playing um, Oni Chanabara Z2 Chaos, and it's really good. I'm a humble, uh, humble choice member. I'm grabbing that. Uh, I'm grabbing that, Rachie. Yeah, I should, but I. Uh, we'll see. I was at one point a humble. I, I used to be like subscribed to them and everything. I should probably do that because um, then I could give away my, all my uh, codes that I already have. I got a joke for you. What dating? What dating at for lumberjacks use timber? Oh well, don't mix that up with Tinder. Of course, there. Are, <laughs> I would I would say a lumberjack is a type of of a person that would be on Tinder potentially. <laughs> These rocks are alive. My gosh. Oh, this is so this is so stupid. April Fool Overwatch 2 really uh, really really balanced. Googly eyes. I mean that is kind of funny, but like also very stupid. <laughs> okay. Hello. Now that it's actually on them and actually has physics. That is kind of funny. Oh, the shield has it. I kind of want the robots to have them. Though. I kind of like that. Now, why didn't I think of that? Can you actually do that? I doubt it. But that, okay, turned out to be better. Uh, I mean, I hate things like this where it's like this could just easily be true. It's not. Wow, they they went all out. Yeah, we got the the razor chair. C confident. Um. Yeah, but always the old blue shortbread cookie th tins too. Yeah, 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 Nick. 100% pizza's cooking. Ooh, Casper 3, that sounds tasty. In fact, I'm hungry already again. Uh, Casper, I want a horror movie about Tinder trying to prevent people from not using their app by hiring people to make them ghost each other so users have to use their app again. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Isn't that a dwarf from Deep Rock Galactic? Uh, no, but I, that is Overwatch. I don't know why I'm scrolling all the way up to the top. For you. Yeah, I mean, he could be like perceived as that, but Overwatch came out before Deep, Lock, Deep Rock Galactic. Deep Rock Galactic, while being a very good game. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, confident. Wait, is this an actual video? No. Mm. Take your 
eyes off me. I mean, I guess if they can talk, they become a little bit animal-less. So I won't knock you as much, uh, Rachy, but still, I think you guys do that with saying it. That's a tough girl, fierce and dependent. It's Grizzball. They really thought this through too. Holy sh! And you stroke right there. That. That. I don't like this. That is a creepy. Be going on a date with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you just enter a fight mode with him? Yep. Just like high school. Uh, Foombooter, welcome, welcome, welcome. You just came at the most exciting time. Uh, <laughs> Pokemon would drown on money if, if they made a date. <laughs> Oh, Rachie, no, don't give them, I, like, they're not going to do it. There's no way they're going to make a dating sim with Pokemon. Maybe with Pokemon trainers, and then you have to use your, like, Pokemon as, like, ways to entice them to date you. They're not going to do that, though, but, like, I could go with that. Pokemon, okay, they're able to talk in this. They're able to say things. They're humanoid-esque. I mean, humanoid, humanoid, not, not, they tried, but no, that's, that's Dolphinoid. Pokemon does not go that way. You, you couldn't even, you couldn't even. I don't even know what I'm trying to like propose here or anything, but whatever. We're going to wait for this. Want to come over uh, and Catrice and chill? And Chilet? Chile? You a wolf. Okay, let's see. Wolf. What games are you playing on? Uh... Fubuter, oh, uh, I now have a, a Steam Deck unexpectedly. Oh, nice, Fubuter. Rachi, what's good? Uh, no, I'm not going to say that, Caster. I'm not going to say what you put down there. No. No, no, no. Uh, Rachi, they already shut down visual novel Pokemon fan games. Yeah, I could see them doing stuff like that. I wonder if they shot, they're going to shut down Markiplier because he's the one that does some of the, like, <laughs> dated or not. Whatever. One one of us. Oh, nice. You've been playing mostly mercenaries on Resident Evil Four. Nice. That's not a bad way to do the Steam Deck. Pete, Pete, that was that was quick, Cat Smith for you. Okay. I also bought the other game from Pocket Pair that isn't Pale World. It's the crypto one. <coughs> crypto miners. Let's see what Kotaku thinks is a joke. I'll be honest, Kotaku, I don't mind some of the articles, and I think they've gotten better over the years, but they've had some stupid articles. Let's see here. It's a, okay, that that doesn't that does not help your case. I hate slideshows. I hate slideshows. In inner sloth. Okay, well, we got that. Okay, we've yes, that one's everywhere. The cartridge one, we already got that one. The yacht, I'm not going to click into that video. At least they do provide the video in this one. Oh, I hate slides. I hate slides because I like keep on clicking. Okay, it's over with. List of slides. Okay, I think we're done. Right? 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 Oh, these are the best ones of all time. There's no... Wait. One of the best uh, jokes ever. I don't know if I'd say this is the best one, but it's not. It's, 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 it, it grew on me. Eh, we're not going to get into this. We're going to just finish up this uh, stream by chatting. What are you guys doing? Anything else you want me to... Anything else you have for me in the Discord? I think we saw most of the good stuff. Um... Casper, for you, it only takes eight minutes to cook the pizza. It takes a second for me to heat up the oven, and then it takes like 10 minutes to cook a pizza. 
Craftopia was the previous one from Pocket Pair. Okay. Okay. Fubuter, no, the Breath of the Wild, Genshin Impact knockoff. Well, I honestly can't remember what it's called. Uh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, the uh, Craftopia. Uh, next fair cheese ain't bad. I need my supreme with fixings. I my kids prefer cheese. I like uh, supreme pizzas. Honestly, I try not to get anything that's too caloric. If I'm gonna eat a lot of pizza, like sometimes I want to like eat half the pizza, then I usually go with the cheese and some veggies. Um, if I'm feeling very naughty, then it's yeah, it's it's gonna have some pepperoni, some sausage, and a couple other things on it. I used to not, and it depends on where it's at, because like a supreme, if not done right, it, it gets it, it can make the crust soggy, and if the, if it makes it too soggy, it kind of ruins the experience a little bit for me. Cast coder, you would be playing Power World. Um. Oh, you have an air fryer. That makes sense. That cast Smith for you. That makes sense. Uh, look up a trailer for Oni Chan uh, Chanbara. Yeah, let's do it. I <laughs> yeah, it's mature. So. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured that it's going to be mature. It's not going to be that mature, though. Right? Right? Yeah, I mean, I guess that is kind of mature. That doesn't even make sense. At least make plot armor. Why are they freaking naked? Near naked. Okay, bring it on. Am I gonna get freaking? I'm gonna get struck for this. Okay, I'm. It's interesting. Necrosphere. I'm gonna say it's it's interesting. Richie, I play it for the believable plot, right? I mean, well, I mean, to be fair, it's a video game. I don't usually dock these types of games. It's got zombies. You got me sold already. Um, I mean, I'm not against anything that does stuff like this. I know there's, like, a huge controversy, like, um, this stupid con. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll put this out here. <laughs> you got one side. You got one side, and I don't know where you guys sit on all this. But you have one side that says... Oh, Western game makers only make ugly chicks or whatever like that. And only the <clears throat> East side of the world or like Asian countries tend to make beautiful and overly gorgeous women in games these days. Like there's a whole thing with it. Asmongold's group and some other groups are like talking about this. And like Stellar Blade is a great one. <clears throat> um, Stellar Bra Blade actually does look good. I don't care. Like, if you want to make a game that has beautiful people in it, I'm all for it. I like beautiful people. Uh, and I say beautiful people as in everyone's beautiful. I don't mind it. But if you haven't noticed that there's a trend going on in the Western side to make things more realistic. Or add some realism to it. Even if it's like a futuristic thing, they want to make the human seem more real. Like, you look at this, there's no one that looks this pretty and this proportionally correct, like this way, most likely ever that's ever lived. So it's not, it's, it's edging into like the, um, <clears throat> into just not being realistic, right? So just, there's both. I know that people scream about certain things. Oh, what, you know, objectify women, whatever. Like, whatever. Dude, just let people have what their muscular, beautiful people, let people have their realistic people. You don't need to have to freaking want to F your character in a game. That's my my take on this whole thing. Um, let both people survive. Because people get really upset about this stuff. And I'm all for all of it living and surviving. Um, Cascoder Pocket Pair is teasing the new Pal World update, which will add a new raid. Ooh. 
will be delayed because their devs managed to add a highly requested fan feature in the next update, too. Ooh, that's dating your your pals, right? Foom Booter, I finished buying the whole Resident Evil franchise again, so that probably be what I'll be using the deck for. Uh, oh, my own nice trailer. <laughs> yeah, Foom Booter. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, I might get the, I might get the pack. We'll see. Um, I feel like when, ah, it all depends on what it plays like. And I'm worried that's not going to play very well. Um, but yeah, Stellar Blade looks good. Is there, are there, uh, reviews out? I know that there's re, like, I don't know if there's reviews out. Yeah, there's a review embargo. I don't know if there's any, I, I've heard that it's good, that people are liking it, but I don't know if the embargo's lifted, right? <clears throat> Stellar Blade is going to get review bombed by critics. There's yeah because no, I doubt it's going to get review bombed. I maybe like there's Kotaku's of the world, but they're not as loud these days. I don't think they care as much. I think people are realizing like just let people just let people play the games they want to play. Um. People get too outraged about things anymore. Necrosphere, I don't have the PS5 and Brink, the Korean supermodel that Stellar Blade is based off, is a really beautiful, though. It's real in, the, in this case. Mm, yes and no. It is a... No, I know that they base it off someone, but even she's probably partially false in some stuff. They do practice certain things over there. Uh, what I'm saying is it's unrealistic to a point. Like, I've seen, I've seen the Stellar Blade character... It, it, there's some proportions that just quite aren't real, but yeah, she's no, she's gorgeous. I've seen the model too. What you're talking about? We went into this a couple of months ago, um, but I'm gonna call a little bit of BS on like. Don't think that this is how like some people kind of get the the uh, perception that like this is how women are supposed to look. It's not. Um, you're gonna be disappointed, but it's it's fine if people do. It's just. And it's fine to respect and to enjoy that, I guess. It's just don't expect that to be someone you probably date. I don't know. But yes. Uh, cast cutter, five days until the Nintendo 3DS and uh, Wii U online multiplayer server shut down. Ooh, five days. Wow, that... <coughs> I remember when they announced that. That's crazy. Uh, pretendo to the rescue. Necrosphere. I did too, Foon. Humble Bundle had a Resident Evil bundle that included everything but Village. There you go. Yeah, I, I've i been collecting all the Resident Evils anyways forever, and so I have all of them. I've had them for a while. Foon Booter, I want to dump my keys from my sw old Switch and 3DS and get those up and running on the deck. Yeah, you should do that um, for sure. Uh, Foon Booter, yep. Necro I already have them all on the PlayStation. I was missing half of my Steam account, but the sale was so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of Stellar Blade, I don't know if this one's going to get that review bombed. We'll see. I have not seen any, like, opposition to it beyond people that are for it complaining about how they think it's going to get review bombed because that's what they do. Okay, so I've heard a lot about Stellar Blade. I've heard that it's got big mounds of content that it will Large shake tracks of and land. move you as you play. And I even heard that it is ticking off some of the most insufferable people on the internet. So I figured why not just try the demo ourselves? We're going to do normal mode. But who? Eh, I mean, it's not like I, try, I follow everyone. off some people and also captivated others <laughs> and then we get our cool suit okay on. i might actually disagree or i might uh, take back what i said some of those proportions are fine um i'd have to say because i i watched an earlier build and i don't i swear that mo the, the the model that they based on was just had certain proportions that just weren't quite real enough yeah but i'm not gonna go into this i'm not this is not me <laughs> This is not James analyze or yeah James aka the Brink analyzes uh, women's bodies today. I'm not doing that, <laughs> but still interesting nonetheless. I guess. I mean it is. Um, uh, uh, 
let's see, Foom Booter. I have the Humble Monthly subscription. They have Callisto Protocol this month. Ooh, that's a good game. That's a game that I really wish they'd make a second one. Now, I'll, I'll say this. I'm a huge Dead Space fan, a huge Dead Space. In fact, the game that I'm making right now is heavily influenced. And if you want, I can, I can show you some of the prototype that I'm working on. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing any of the prototype that I'm working on. I'm working on multiple different areas, so what you see is not fully what I'm working on, but I'll, I'll show it to you if you guys are up for it. Um, while we finish up this combo, uh, cool, sir, can't say you settled with your wife. I didn't settle. No, I'm not saying I settled. I'm not saying for people to settle, but people have unrealistic expectations of what women look like. And it's been a big problem, and it's caused, like, I, I have friends that are like that. that I, I don't want to say anything more because if they ever watch this, they'll probably know who they are. But they need to understand that, like, got to put a lot of effort in if you want to attract certain people. Uh, let's see here. The OG Resident You can play the new, the remaster of Resident Evil 4 on the Steam Deck, by the way. While this is loading up. If you guys are interested, I will show you this prototype. Um, let's see here. Fumbooter, that's funny. I was playing the through OG Resident Evil 4 just a couple weeks ago. So it holds up great. It, it holds up okay. The, the controls are really annoying. So that's what makes the remaster nice. Expectations. Yeah, cool, sir. Expectations you achieved. I, I, I guess. I I don't know. If I'm going to go to... Wow, it is lagging having that uh, up, isn't it? Um... Give me a second. I'm going to quit out of a thing or two. Okay. If you don't mind, I'm going to show off the prototype. So, the way that I'm designing this right now is that uh, you'll see a lot of different really weird things. And I've showed this before. <laughs> like this. It looks very goofy it's meant to be a prototype it's meant to be an understanding of where levels and sections would be um and it's not going to look like this in the end um and in fact uh the tech demo that i create might not ever show the outside so i don't even care how the outside looks but the the tech demo will have more realistic mod models and stuff like that this is an unlit mode so if we go to lit mode you can see it's uh, a little bit more realistic you have more um Obviously, I still haven't done any textures or anything like that. Um, any textures for some of these walls? Because I want to figure that out first. And it's once again, this is going to be this is a very iterative process. But and I have a, a whole other few levels that I'm working on on um, fluids and with corridors. Corridors are going to be a big deal. And they're going to be very dynamic in the sense of pipes breaking, smoke, whatever happens uh, that you're going to have to fix. So uh, one little sneak peek that I'll give is that I'm a, the way that the game is, is going to handle um, respawns is that you, you have a cloning system over here. You only have so many bodies that the company will uh, pay for that are cloned. And that's where you're going to come from. You're going to come from an area over here. If you ever die, you'll come back to here and come from your cloner system which is and you're going to be able to see your bodies hanging in the background which i think is awesome so i'm constant i have a whole wiki uh, in uh my system for all this to um track everything and so what i'm doing right now is making uh a, a low level uh concept of the first few levels and then I, what i'm going to do is go back through and uh let's see I'm trying to find where my OBS, where he is. Um, cool, so careful she's listening. She, I mean, I'm not going to say anything more on the Bowser Z. Um, 
you can see how like the lighting gets kind of weird in some areas like the fog and all that like so i have to go to lit until i have those properly set up um let's see here uh next i want to make a game on my steam deck and, and verify it for the steam deck by thinking about using godot engine not sure what I want to make because I'm new to coding. Yeah, Necrosphere, if you're new to coding, uh, I'll be honest, Unreal might be the way to go. Um, I, I'll be, I'll be really, if you want to make a game, like a commercial game, you're going to want to use Unreal or Unity for now. Godot still is capable. It just depends on what you're trying to make. I have always wanted to make a first, it's gonna, this is going to be first person or third person. I could end up switching it to third person. I'll have two bulk modes when I'm testing things out. But, um, yeah. No. This area, I'm flushing it out. I have more areas out over there. Um, and I'm doing very low level. And when it comes time to add details, it'll be very easy. Um, and it will look much better. Um, so. But Godot is good. Don't get me wrong. I like Godot. Um. Foombooter, I'm down to see the prototype. Also, do you have an update on your deck project you're working on? Foombooter, I do not. I am so I am slowly working on it. I I am struggling to uh, to balance everything right now. Um, I am hoping though that um, as I get my allergy stuff under control more, that I will have more energy. So, I'm working with the doctor still. Um, it's a hit or miss, but lately I've been doing much better. Um, and the whole, I just haven't been trying to commit to anything right now. Like pretty much what I do is spend time with my kids, which they've been needing a lot of time spent with because they've been very, uh, naughty, destroying stuff, uh, walls and things. And then, uh, I work and I work on the game and I work on the game probably like two, three hours a day. Um, I do think I'll hit my tech demo by the end of the year. Um, yeah, so uh, there's more to it. I'm not going to show you any more. This is going to be a generator room. I'm just pra I'm just going to be uh, testing out some generator systems right here, along with some fluids for cooling. Um, yeah. So it's very blocky, but it's meant to be blocky at this stage. It's, as I said, this is only prototypes. This is meant to be like showcasing things. I'm eventually going to make um, some three mesh, uh, 3D models with meshes and stuff. Um, along with, I am going to probably hire a couple people to like off Fiverr or something like that to make some models that I can't like too complex for me to make, but I'm going to be making some stuff. Um, yeah, there you go. Wolf. let us know when you start. We need more steam deck verified games. A hundred percent. I'm going to try to make sure that this is steam deck verified. Um, there is a steam deck plugin for unity or for unreal. So it's not too hard. Um, Necrosphere, that would be awesome. Still in the brainstorming phase right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Games are awesome to make. Like, I like making this. Like, I have a wiki that I'm setting aside. I have quests. I have um, a lot of different things I brainstorm. I want to make sure I don't lose them. So I have, like, a quick notes area that I write things down, and then I go back through and flush them out into the wiki that I have that's internal um, that I'll be basing a lot of stuff. So if I need to bring, like, a contractor on to, write, uh, to create a couple of pieces i can do that through that system but i am going like this looks honestly it looks pretty basic it looks pretty like simple right but that this is how this is kind of like a sneak peek of how game development works anyways is that it things take time things get, are, are very basic in the beginnings as you're prototyping for me right now i want to prototype out these levels these concepts um even maybe run through the quests in a very simple manner as uh, I have a lot of uh, some concepts, like essentially this faction that you're in with this game, because this is going to be a multi-game uh, world. This faction is going to be uber uh, capitalistic, so you're going to buy your gear from here, and you have to earn it by doing certain quests and stuff like that. Along with your bodies, you only have so many, and you'll see them dangling right here. Not, in that, not that far out, but you'll see them dangling, so you can count how many lives you have left. Um, it'll be pretty good. And it's because... It's easier for them to just respawn you, to clone you, than it is to uh, 
to to do like a lot of safety or pay out the insurance or anything like that. It's just it's gone to that stage, which was kind of a fun, like ultra capitalistic uh, dystopian kind of world. I like I really like that. Um, yes, and Wolf Seven Days to Die is uh, verified on Steam Deck, and I forgot to mention this to you, Wolf. Seven days it works really good on the Steam Deck. Now it was I, I I didn't try it during a Blood Moon with a ton of zombies, but I was getting around 40, 45 frames per second on it. It was pretty good, even when I was attacking zombies. Um, Fumbooter, no worries. That's an admirable update, indeed. Definitely work at your own pace. Yeah, no, I'm I'm working on this. Like this, I have like a hard goal. I'm gonna be making some. Uh, YouTube content on the soon. I just wanted to get far enough into it and feel like I have stuff to actually to do on this before I make the content. Um, and so hopefully if everything's going well, I will be run, uh, flipping back and doing more videos, be doing more updates and just doing everything more. Um, as far as the deck revealed app, I definitely am going to do a step back and I don't... With all the emulator stuff, I'm I'm a skittish person when it comes to legal stuff. I don't know if I'm going to handle the emulation stuff as much with it. I might um, try to make it so that you use a third party for that. But, yeah. So, I'm very skittish with a lot of this stuff. So, it's made me very, like, hesitant, too, with the deck rebuild project. So. Um... Portal style turrets in it. Put put portal style turrets in it. I'm going to have in this. I don't know if I'll have portal style turrets in it, but um, there'll be like defense systems. I wouldn't. It would, and there'll be modules. Like uh, you're you're definitely getting a sneak peek into my brain. Um, let's go back to unlit. Uh, you can see it looks really weird. That's because I've module. Uh, I'm, I'm sectioning it off just to. So this will be. I just put a tree right here just as a as a concept. Um, that this is. I'm going to make this into an atrium or like a system. This is how they produce the oxygen while also making it so that it has fun. You know, looks nice and whatever. Um, and then you're going to have these uh, containers. Is this one not hollow? No, this one's hollow. Uh, you're going to have these containers off the side. I haven't decided if the containers are going to sit there or down here. I know this is a massive ship, but I'm going to fill it out. Or I'm going to change the design of it, so don't worry about that. There's a big tram that system that's going to be in the middle. Um, containers will either be on the inside or out, or smaller containers are inside. But I'm going to have... Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do this early access or not, but once I get to a point where I do release this... Um, I, if it's early access, if I want to release earlier, then each of these modules will open up with early access. One of them is going to be a traveling, um, a traveling uh, circus slash amusement park kind of thing, and so gonna have fun with that. Like each one's gonna have fun stuff, so I could definitely make one a defense. Um, contracted module that you're supposed to be shipping it to an area and they could have turrets is what I'm kind of going with with that um, cool term. Um, yeah, Wolf, I agreed. You can't have too many verified games on the Steam Deck and it's awesome that they're doing that. That that, that, that Seven Days to Die was able to get verified. I, I thought it was going to happen sooner because it's really a game if they just did some performance tweaks, it would just be better. Um, Necros here with the Oni Chana Bara Z2. You got to change the controls on Steam and put to play the deck with uh, deck controls. Okay, it looked old enough that you might have to do that. Uh, the ray tracing. Um, this might have ray tracing in it. Set up. I do have, I did have ray tracing like enabled, but I haven't baked the lighting, so you'll see some weird stuff. Um, it's because the lighting hasn't been baked properly yet. After I've made a bunch of changes to it, like I've, if you haven't noticed, like there's unstyle or untextured uh, walls and everything. There's also a broken pipe up here. Eventually, what's going to happen is that certain events are going to make these uh, tunnels very uh, fragile, and so um, you can have anything from flooding to smoke to other uh, incidences you have to that you have to fix. Um. 
Anyone the balls of note NVIDIA meme. Which one's the... Wait, NVIDIA did a meme? Nice, I want to try playing it on the deck. <laughs> you should change the planet from Saturn to Uranus. Are you talking about my game? Oh. It's not going to be this. This is... Uh, uh, I'm probably going to get rid of that planet. I think I can actually uh, modify the skybox. And get rid of that. I will keep the sun, though. This is not really meant to be our... So this is going to be something completely different. I haven't... Dis like, there's a lot of... like There's a lot of um, concepts I have for it. But depending on if I... How, when, how, and uh, budget that I have for this... Um, will be dependent on uh, how much... Like, details out here will happen. Because there might not be anything on the outside. In the first iteration of this. Um, P.S. Uranus, I like it. I get the joke. <laughs> Cascader Vex is wondering how the limited bodies work. What happens if you run out? Ve limited bodies work. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying, Cascader. So you can either uh, earn money through doing your quests or through finding money throughout the the game as this is a very hyper-capitalistic, dystopian kind of system, uh, uh, faction of uh, multi-factioned universe. Um, and it, I, I've been designing the, this world for, because I have a couple of other games I want to make that are much bigger than this uh, for years. Um, but this cloning system is new, though. So the cloning system essentially is you can make new clones. It will have a factory that you can make new ones, but you have both. It takes time, and it also takes money to make new ones. You, so what difficulty you're on, maybe if you're on the easiest difficulty, you just always and you know you have all pretty much unlimited. As soon as you die, it will just create a new one fairly quick. So you'll never have the the option of losing, but per se, on the easiest. And as you get more difficult be more monsters. I actually kind of want the easy one to not have, have the difficulty be in repairing the system and having the ship be against you. And as you get, uh, and not have any monsters. And then as, uh, you go up in or down or whichever you want to say, like as it gets harder then actually different monsters are enabled with this. Um, so there'll be a reason to replay a reason to, um, if, and for people that just don't want a horror game, even though this this game is going to be a sci-fi, um, it's, it's going to have two aspects to it. But I definitely can make it so I don't think it's going to be too horror-esque for an easy mode. It'll be creepy, but not horror. But if you want, like, horror, then I can I add the next level. So I can add a couple of things to make it horror. But, yes, the spawning system, once you run out, you you die. You lose the game. You have to start over again. Once again, this is going to be a, like a three or four hour game. This is not going to be the longest game ever. I'm not planning on this being a very long game. Um, so it's not the end of the Like if you have, let's say, like five bodies, I, I try to balance it well enough to where as long as you're not screwing around, you'll be fine. So, um, yeah, that's the concept. Um Quilter Cast Cider, you just remind me of the old game I used to love and forgot about Vex on PS2. Oh yeah, Vex. Yep. Rachie, the real bill of the outpriced RTX 20 series. NVIDIA was showing off balls with ray tracing. Everyone called them the balls of NVIDIA. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. Uh next here. Have you seen uh Ken Hanks Kid Ken Hanks 12 terabyte drive? With just about all that retro games on Amazon. I have not seen that. But I'll have to look at that. Let's see. I'm going to kill this now because it does not like me doing that while uh, streaming. Yeah, you got this one that has all these games on it. So they're so sketch, though. I wouldn't get stuff like this. Um, then the NVIDIA. Hey, 
and oh my gosh, the entire global economy, NVIDIA. That's brutal and somewhat true. They make so much money. NVIDIA is worth a lot of money. I really wish I would have. I actually bought NVIDIA stock a few years ago. I wish I would have held on to it. I mean, I made money off of it, but I wish I would have held on to it. I would have made freaking bank. I'm not sitting in the meme. Uh, did you see the, that those Amazon convenience stores were not powered by AI, but 1,000 employees in India? Wait, what? No, I did not see that. What are you talking about, Cascoder? That was the drive that I saw. So if I go back. Why is it not loading? I want to go to the website. Did, did, did this go, used to go to the site? Interesting. I think they changed things. I mean, I like the concept until you get a virus. USB 3.0, up to 6 gigabyte, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many, what games are on this though? Merry Christmas. There's no reviews, except, well, there's a f one five star, like, yeah, one five star. Ah, this always just makes it so sketch. I just, what kind of games? Um... Does this put you on a list that you're going to get freaking killed once Nintendo gets big enough to own the government? Like, uh, Rachi, two years ago, I was so lucky in getting two eight terabyte drives for $120. Ooh, not bad. That's Canadian, too. I have, I have a lot of space, but I always I need to manage it, and I don't manage it very well. Cascoder, Amazon made convenience stores starting in Washington where you will be billed based on the items you picked up in the store and the cameras in the store were supposed to automatically bill you. Are you talking about the, um, they're not, they're not Amazon stores. They're Amazon, uh, well, they're owned by Amazon, but they're Amazon or, wait. Are they Amazon Go? Oh, it's the Amazon Go ones. Okay. I was thinking of something else. Yeah. Um, Yeah, they're going to drop just walk out and they're going to use a, a shopping cart. I know of that. But they would used Indian uh, Go Stores India. <laughs> Amazon's just walk out technology relies on. <sighs> no, no. One thousand Indians part of Amazon's generative AI driven just walk out project and store and fresh stores report. That's hilarious. I mean, they're like, okay, we'll build the tech and eventually let go of the thousand Indians, which is that's also dystopian as F too. But well, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, there you go. That's interesting. Amazon Fresh. Amazon Go. It's fresh. Okay. We are done for today for streaming. I'm uh, I'm done, at least. So, with that, um, yeah. Hopefully it was okay showing off the game. I really like the game that I'm making, and I know it's really, like, early on in the in the prototyping phase, um, but things are coming along. I have additional levels and, and sections that I'm working on and other things, but, like, thanks for letting me do that. I enjoyed it, sharing it with you guys. Also, uh, all the, like, funny things going on with uh april fools it's always fun like i feel like april fools was better though i feel like there's a lot more april fools content than there is now but what we got today like alone the cyberpunk 2077 one was worth it i loved it that was probably one of my favorite ones there was a couple other ones that were really good too though like the nintendo one like i it makes me but that, that makes me want that all these things makes me want it in a different way or not so um, yeah, thanks for Booter for that. Uh, can't wait to see progress. Same, like I am pretty good. Like I'm gonna get to a point where I will have um, a lot of updates and a lot of ways to support in the future. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Uh, I want to make sure I make something good, and then in the future I will have like an ability for people to play it early and to help me prototype it. So, meaning I'll have ways uh, for people to try it out to help me, so you can be a part of the process. So. 
keep an eye out keep an eye out on me uh, i mean this is this is the thing i've been wanting to do for years it's one of the reasons why i, I haven't been making as many videos because i'm ramping up on this and i do like to make videos though so i will do that okay nano pal world visual novel my 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 year is ruined okay i mean that one was a good one too i have to admit the pal world virtual dating one was pretty good okay guys thank you guys for ch uh checking me out i guess or checking the stream out stopping by it's always fun seeing a lot of you guys that are very um you know you've stuck around for a long time we'll get there we'll get more videos out we'll get back up to the tippy top of whatever mountain we were which was a, a little mound but we'll get there thank you guys once again i'll catch you guys next time i will be back into streaming a little bit more but like i said schedule based for the brink channel and yeah so don't worry like if you guys liked uh, hanging out with me and playing games i will get back into that i just might not i might be more sporadic in the sense of i don't know if i'll follow the schedule but we'll see um, I'll, 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 I'll keep things updated. And then also the time for the stream, I might start streaming a little earlier for people to help them not, you know, watch so late at night. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out and later.